welcome back to another video we have the september scroller box here it's just arrived through the post if you do not know what a scroll box is it is a monthly art subscription box it costs 16 pounds 95 free postage and packaging to the uk additional postage and customs fees outside of the uk you receive a bunch of mysterious art supplies a word or phrase as a prompt a scroller zine and a featured artist and little sweet in there is a bit little bonus which is always very nice and i think they're uk based sweets um, for the most part which is also very nice um so let's get into this box i have the little rippy tip tab down here um which is going to cause me issues this week here we go it feels quite weighty um i would say there's something bulky in there for sure so let's open this up interesting right okay the bag has split a little bit so i don't want to have a look too much in there i'm going to take everything out of the box another thing to note is that for every scroller box you do buy a tree is planted which is always a good thing so as you can see here our sweet for this month is a blackjack now i used to love these as a kid and i've tried one as an adult and they just don't taste the same so i don't know if they've changed some sort of recipe in there but it is quite a nice sweet is it a bit licorice -y, i think which i like personally but it's not to everyone's taste so i would imagine not many people will like this in this box um let's put the scroller zine to one side we'll have a flick through that at the end this is a featured artwork and that is absolutely stunning look at that it's incredible it's showing potential for a graphite box this or a pastel um type box which is interesting a bit on that monotone theme i don't know if that's on, on purpose since we're coming into inktober soon and um, this is the featured artist so just pause this if you would like to read this but this artist is robert a professional artist and lives in north yorkshire so not too far from me um so he draws his expressive drawing subject matter from the north york moors yorkshire dales east yorkshire coast and the lake district so very similar to what i'm seeing every day that I'm, I'm in the Yorkshire Dales as well so that's very nice and um, so like I say pause the video here if you'd like to read that and then their social media is just on the bottom there very nice okay so let's open this package first before we see the paper too much so that we're not spoiling what the supplies are So we have a sticker and just recently Scrollbox have been taking the stickers from the featured artwork which is again very nice so that'll look good on my little art wall okay so the last time we had one of these little derwent packages it was filled with those ink tents blocks which personally are one of my favorite supplies now but as i suspected this is a charcoal and pencil box not my favorite i will say so this is going to be a bit of a struggle already i can tell so let's open up this little package so it's saying on the front here that these are charcoal blocks and graphite blocks we have six of those a soft medium and hard i do like how they package these up for the scroll boxes though okay so it's similar to the ink tents blocks but obviously these are graphite and charcoal so it's going to get messy it's going to get very very messy but i'm interested and i'm going to give it my all because i don't want to just straight off the bat um, disregard these supplies i think there is a lot of potential i just need to learn how to use them properly so that is very interesting we have a blending stub here also a very good tool i don't actually own one of these surprisingly so that's going to come in handy we have a Faber Castell Pit Graphite 6B pencil, so nice dark pencil there, very nice. We have a Gold Faber Faber Castell white pencil. I'd be interested to see. Let's have a look in here. Just a white pencil. It's not watercolor or anything, so just a white pencil for highlights, etc., which will be handy as well. And then finally, we have the Faber Castell Pit Graphite Matte 14B, so an extra deep dark soft pencil there as well so there's a lot of scope a lot of fine points that we have and some thicker areas and then for our paper we have this Clairefontaine denim blue multimedia paper so you can use paints on this as well which is always nice a very interesting color what on earth is this piece of paper oh, who knows um it's a nice thickness what's the gsm on this uh 250 gsm so that 
is very nice. And I like the colour. I think that's a really nice hue to use these graphite pencils over. I can see how um, the featured artist could achieve these amazing deep valleys and grooves and water and everything. And for sure, I will probably be going into the Archdales to get some inspiration to use these supplies with. Um, and then finally, oh, I didn't even see this, uh, Taylor's Chalk. So let's read about this because this is not something I would use as an art supply. Um, it's usually used for fabric. Um, and it's, it's a familiar shape to create an artist's chalk block. This chalk pairs beautifully with charcoal and graphite as it layers and blends so easily. And it is water soluble, so you can create soft washes of white. Interesting. So that's probably how they've done these really nice areas of white up here. That's not so fine as using this pencil. Um, so that's quite cool. So that's something I've never used before. So I'm interested to find out how that will work. So this is the list of the supplies here. Again, pause this if you want to read a little bit more about the supplies. And the scroller challenge is dramatic landscape. So for sure, I will be going out for some walks and taking some really nice reference photos of the Yorkshire Dales as well. Hopefully similar to this amazing artwork. I mean, I'm not saying I'm actually going to achieve this. That's probably going to be impossible, but I will have a good go. And then finally, we have our scroller zine. Let's have a little read of this before we get started. Um, so these are a little bit more about the supplies here on page one. I really love the way they put this spread together. Um, it's really inspiring. Again, more about the scroll artist here. There's a little bit of Q&A about them. So I will probably be reading that off camera. We have some scroller tips. I Again, as I do in all my videos, I will read these over my commentary of me doing some of the testing of the supplies and the art itself just to fill in some time there with some voiceover and then finally we have the scroller gallery so this was two months ago it features the artwork from some of the artists that received the scroller box and again we have a beautiful array of artwork this lady here um her own reality she is featured in almost every month she's an incredible artist um, and I would recommend going to check all of these out as I will also be doing that. So some beautiful pieces there. And then finally, a little bit about um, something relating to the theme. So in this case, it is the benefits of black and white. So that's quite interesting. So I'm excited to try these out. Again, this is not my forte. It's not my favorite supplies, um, but I will definitely be giving it my all and really testing these out so I hope you join me for the rest of the video as we test some supplies and create some nice dramatic landscape artwork. The scroller tips are quite extensive this month and so I will start with the things to try and a lot of it is common sense. Um, charcoal is messy so just be careful that you're not smudging your work, work from top to bottom. Hold them um, with your finger resting on the front, this will make it easier to control. Um, this is just a lot of things like that. Um, a lot of it is just common sense. And then the notes from the artist it themselves is that the the white paper can usually be daunting so that's why they've included a coloured paper mixing the white um to underneath some of your charcoal can actually create hints so i actually did that quite a lot in my artwork um rubbing and blending the media together is a really useful tool so just utilize your blending stub and also um, I read a bit about wetting your chalk, your white chalk, and that can create a really much more white area. I actually um, sprayed a bit of fixative and added the white over that, and it really made it pop a lot more. So that's mainly most of the tips. And I think that concludes the artwork. Do you know what? That was extremely hard. It was a hell of a lot harder than I expected. And upon doing this, I have so much more respect for this artwork like to get i just don't know i don't know how they've even done it but it's incredible to get the depth in this and the highlights to show is so hard look at my fingers i was trying to use this blending stub but i just in the end i was like it's easier just to use my fingers my first initial thoughts are i definitely prefer the charcoal than the graphite bars here because this was just really scratchy i don't know whether i should have laid that down first and then the charcoal on top i'm not sure but i found that incredibly hard to use however this chalk 
this white chalk is amazing it you can get some really light highlights so say let's just bring this bank out a little bit more here and make it flow into this water a little bit look at that you can just get that over the top and there you've created a bit of a white highlight it's absolutely incredible i love it even the white pencil went over this charcoal incredibly well but as you can see it is messy my desk is covered all the pencils are absolutely covered in in all sorts um but it, it was amazing i enjoyed the supplies more than i thought but it is incredibly hard i struggled i up here i was like this is all trees i don't know how to even get that in as you can see i kind of gave up with this left bank i was a bit done by that point but i think i gave it a good go and i i don't mind it i think it's got a lot of depth to it um it could potentially have darker areas a bit more depth in areas um and it could do it could do with maybe a, a bit of refinement but do you know what i was watching a stream the other day um on twitch and he, his name's hypoxia i believe and he was doing some quick um kind of studies on um on his he was, just, he was basically doing digital art, like quick digital art studies of things just to loosen up, to do a bit of art but without having to think about it. And that's what I felt like this, these supplies did for me. I felt like I could do a little bit of art, not really think about it, have a real good pl play with the supplies and just be a bit freer. I found it really helpful and I think in the future... I am definitely going to be using these for like quick studies. I can see why people use charcoal for like figure drawing and, and things like that. I it, it is just incredible what you can achieve with uh, charcoal and graphite and pencils and just doing things quickly. And I actually really enjoyed the box. I didn't expect to enjoy it and I really, really have. And I hope you have enjoyed watching my process, watching me struggle um, and coming up with a piece of artwork, which I'm not the most unhappy with i think it's okay and i am going to leave it there and get prepared for petober so that will be the next videos you will see so i hope you are ready for that please subscribe if you want to see those videos please hit that notification bell so that you are reminded when i post and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video and comment down below how you think i could have done something different so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video